Hey everyone, welcome to the Th- Movie Throne Podcast. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you a brand new, well actually, it's a brand new movie review. First time ever, I can't believe I haven't done this film. And this is the film, or set of films that inspired the King to not only do the Movie Throne, but to actually be a huge movie fan and draw him into the world of movie and TV entertainment, guys. Years ago, yes, you guys can tell by the thumbnails, the wait is over. I am doing the four movie collection review on Indiana Jones. Yes, all four of them. The King spent the whole entire weekend watching all four films just to refresh his memory. Some of the movies, especially the original trilogy, I haven't seen over in a decade. But I'm glad I did and I'm glad I'm here to bring you guys a review because I don't know how many more of these reviews are going to be coming out from me right here on YouTube land. But as life gets complicated and things... You know, my time on here might be a little bit more limited moving forward and perhaps never again. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm contemplating a whole bunch of options in my things, guys. I have so many doors that are opening. It's not funny, and I just can't juggle everything. And if you guys aren't here to kind of support me here, then, you know, there's really no reason to stay. I might as well open one of those other doors and head that direction. But anyways, this is not the time we're here, but this could be the last. This is... uh, podcast episode number 40 so just in case you guys are keep a track anyways let's just get into it okay indiana jones raiders of the lost ark holy crap guys that is the movie that drawn the king into this whole fantasy world called movies and from the opening scene with harrison ford breaking into the at aztec temple putting the sand down, and then the statue going down after he snags it, and that big boulder chasing him down. Holy shit, did that drive me bananas. Like, that was the coolest thing I ever seen. And I'm telling you, even today, believe it or not, that still looks good. The only thing that's a little outdated is obviously the clothing or the way it's shot. But for the most part, it stands up today. And I enjoy that film, and my God... A lot of cool scenes, a lot of uh, improvisation by Harrison Ford himself. You guys know exactly that big gun fight scene that the guys are going nuts and he just pulls out his gun and shoots the guy. From that scene to the uh, Covenant itself, the uh, the Ark, and the special effects coming out and the way those things took out the Nazis in it, takes place in 1938, and I enjoyed it. I was never once bored. I I'm telling you. Probably my favorite Indiana Jones maybe movie from all four that we got until we get the new one next year. You know, and Harrison Ford, holy crap, you know, unbelievable. The man looks good. And I'm telling you, after watching these films again, it's going to be very hard to ever replace him in the lead role. So whoever it is going to take up the mantle, if they decide to do so, which I don't know if they ever will. There's only one Harrison Ford. There's one Indiana Jones and those guys. Are the same person. But anyways, okay. So love the action. Love the storytelling. Steven Spielberg movie gold. Then we jumped into the Temple Doom. Oh my God. From the whole voodoo cult scene under there. Uh, from, uh, I want to call him sidekick or whatever the hell. Uh, oh my God. You stepped on fortune cookies kind of scene. The natives going after him. The chanting, the raving, the special effects, as much as it's cheesy there. Oh, my God. Getting chased. That chase scene alone, priceless. Shot well again. Like, I don't know what I could say about Temple of Doom, but it was a good story from how things were taken from the temple and then it, to be brought back to them and to kind of set them free was pretty cool. Um, that takes us to the last crusade with the late, great Sean Connery playing his father. And it's the Holy Grail, guys, the last cup of Jesus Christ that he was after. And, you know, to work with his father, Harrison Ford, which they kind of butt heads about certain way to do things and stuff like that, uh, to kind of find that bond and to kind of follow the pathway of Christ and the different little secrets and shit. Amazing. You're welcome, National Treasure. Uh, Nicholas Cage's films, guys, go check those out. Uh, anyways, that's to tell me that the oven's warm. Cooking some pizza. The king's getting hungry. Anyways, so uh, from that to the action again, to Sean Connery on the same screen as him, it was a perfect story arc to complete the whole storyline of Indiana Jones. But then we got that monstrosity, that grotesque 
that void in the whole series called the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's why you guys said it. Believe it or not, the king actually went to go to see it in the theater with the queen mom. You know, and I enjoyed it. As goofy and as dumb as the last act of the film was with UFO spoil alert, I still enjoyed it. What was it? The greatest, like, you know, Indiana Jones film in the face of it? No. People got to remember, it is so hard to capture movie magic, especially when it's a film like Indiana Jones. Like, that last one was just, you know, complete the trilogy. Didn't need to make this one. So they kind of did so with this one. Shia LaBeouf wasn't as bad. I enjoyed it because he was in it. Uh, Harrison Ford's older. You kind of see that on screen, guys. You know, he is going to age. But the whole UFO angle there kind of was kind of cheesy. And the swinging on the vines and stuff felt cartoony, like George of the Jungle-ish. But from the monkeys, from the alien, the crystal skull looked crazy. The story was eh, not bad. But Harrison Ford was Harrison Ford. Same kind of jokes and stuff like that. But it was hard to capture movie magic. And I think our expectation level for this last film that we got until we get the new one next year, hopefully, better be there. You know, perhaps Sir Harrison Ford's last one. I think he said it's his last one. Um, was okay. I don't think it was the greatest. I don't think it is as bad as everybody's made it out. To, you know, and shame on you guys. You know, you bandwagon jumpers. Reminds me of Transformers, uh, the last one that people said it so unwatchable and disgusting. No, it wasn't. It was okay. But anyways, you know, enjoyed it. Not the greatest. No, still number one, Raiders of the Last Ark, The Last Crusade, Temple of Doom, and Crystal Skull. And I can't wait to see what we're going to be getting next with the next Indiana Jones film next year. I want, if he's going to go with the bang, I hope he does. Uh, the Logan director is behind it, Mangold. So I think it's going to be good. So there you go, guys. That is my official review on Indiana Jones, the four film mythology film franchise, whatever you want to call it. I highly recommend you guys go back and check it, especially if you're a fan of any type and Harrison Ford. Go check out this man in the lead role. There's a reason why he's a big star and he's still a big star today. And you got to go see him. Indiana Jones is up there with Star Wars and all the other franchises. So I highly recommend go check it out. I love the franchise overall. I can't wait to see the fifth film. Fifth film. So there you go. The Kings rambled long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Indiana Jones. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other content. And moving forward, guys, I don't know. I'm going to try my best, you know. It might not be every week. It might be every second week or third. But I'll post a few reviews here and there. Especially movies that I think that are worthy that. Just in case you guys want to hear my words and thoughts. Or for me to recommend it for all you guys. So until then. Be the hell good. Stay off this King's throne. And I'll see you guys sometime in the future. Take it easy.